They said the truth won't survive beside the lies that maintain the decaying faces of this Hey everybody, what's up? It's Hold the Truth Hostage. I just want to say I want to thank you all for the support and I truly need your support on this uh, book I've launched, this comic book on Kickstarter. It's called Simptagen. And um, I need your support. You know, a lot of things we talk about in a manosphere is how, you know, Disney sells something that doesn't exist, you know, lies and fairy tales, you know, and beyond just supporting the manosphere by watching some videos and stuff, you know, we have to also support that uh, fiction. And, the, and that's what I'm trying to do with um, Simptagen. You know, I need y'all to support this book. You know, uh, right now there's about 186 subscribers. I just need y'all, if you can, I know the COVID's going on, but if you can, at least just put $5 in there. $5 on the Kickstarter and, and share it also, you know, because... We need to take this to fiction, you know. That's why you see them fighting and, uh, you know, putting men down on games and video games. They know that fiction is the last frontier. And that's why I need your support, man. I need you to go on Kickstarter and support Semptagen. You know, we, if all you can do is put $5, by all means, thank you. means a lot. If we can get over you know over about 50 people to put five dollars in will hit that goal and you know and it'll it'll it push this fiction and this truth to beyond just us doing some you know uh novels and such and talking on video it'll help us push this message even further you know the book is a very it's written, it's a comic book written with a very red pill lens, you know, in the world. So please go support Semptagen. Now, I've been gone for a while, been taking a little break. Now, this video is going to be the start of my new series called Post Normal. And uh, this series is going to be Post Normal, oh, the... Uh, Body positivity. This is what this one's going to be about. Body positivity. Now, what y'all need to understand what the body positivity movement is about. It's really about something that should have happened years ago, really. You see, the, the medical industry, you know, the pharmacies and the fast food industry... They've been in line and they've been together for quite some time, as in McDonald's shares its information with the pharmacies, you know, fast food, the foods they share with each other because, you know, the man has, you know, we have three minds, you know, I mean, we got two minds. We got our mind up here in our stomach. Now, the person that wasn't receiving information between the pharmacies and the, uh, you know, the fast food restaurants was the fashion industry. That's why you saw in the 80s, 90s, and so on, in early 2000s, you didn't really see a body positivity movement. The reason you didn't see a body positivity movement was that the fashion industry wasn't aware of the, you know, the, the average weight. They weren't keeping track of the weight of the public. Now the fashion industry is aware of the weight of the public. They've pushed out a lot more body positivity because they realized, you know, you'll make more money. Think about it. Which one's easier? You getting food, getting fat, gaining weight, or you going to the gym? Which one is more convenient? And the answer is, ding, 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 ding. The answer is gaining weight. So the fashion industry realized we can make a lot of money telling, um, you know, 
fat people that they're they got we got body positivity you know what i'm saying that they're okay the way they are it, it don't matter to us them being healthy doesn't put money in our pockets you know what i'm saying it's just them being healthy it's easier for for them to make more money by catering to obesity and you know a chick being quote unquote plus size you know what i'm saying and all this body positivity movement it's, it's all about money and then the medical field benefits by collaborating with the fashion industry also because i'll give you an example you know back in the 80s 90s and 20s what 2000s maybe i'm not sure about the 2000s but you would go to a doctor and if you came to that doctor obese the doctor would probably tell you you need to lose some weight you know so your your bones you know your back won't hurt as much and i'm gonna give you uh, you know, certain regiments, certain things you could take while you're trying to lose weight, go to the gym and all that. But with the body positivity movement, now doctors don't, don't even need to say that because they've put it into the minds. And, and especially since the whole body positivity movement is, you know, feminine driven, you know what I'm saying? It's about female you know females is female driven so what you see another reason now let me get let me stay on the medical side another thing is this benefits the medical side is that when the medical is associated with fashion that you being fat and all that is you know your body positivity it's just you you know what i'm saying you should be happy you know what i'm saying and is that it helps the doctors to do less work so you know uh or uh a hippo a hippo built chick shows up to the hospital instead of the doctor telling her to get on this exercise and all that stuff now she's all about body positivity he doesn't want to hurt her feelings so he just suggests you know take these pills and um we'll do some back surgery you know what I'm saying? So we're going to do some back surgery on you because your body's perfect the way it is. It's just that you need this back surgery because it'll help you, you know, be happier and healthier in your current body, body positivity. Even though it's all that weight in your bones and your body structure, because because that's the thing about obesity. When people get fat, your body expands because all that layer of fat, you know what I'm saying, tissue is, you know, adding more weight to your bones. You know, your bones don't grow. That's why this whole, when a fat person pushes, well, you know, I'm big boned and all that. Where? Where are you big boned? Your bones did not grow to, to um, you know, support your your obesity. You know what I'm saying? To support your weight gain. So the other, now let's let's get to the fast food section. You know, for the fast food, this benefits them even more. Because now with the whole body positivity movement, you got you got someone like Lizzo, and I'm gonna get to Lizzo very soon. But you got people doing all this body positivity for women, it's telling them it's okay. For you to don't have any self-control and eat late at night and eat all you want. It's okay. And and you wanna you ever notice something that how come think about this? How come the fast food restaurants they're all open, but the clinics aren't? The gyms, you know, more gyms are 24 hours these days, but usually not a hundred percent. Notice that. The way for you to get unhealthy is always the easiest, you know, but it's always hard for you to stay healthy. You know what I mean? Because the stuff that requires health is usually closed and so on. So, you know, now, now let's keep going. So, and, and, and you could even notice when you go to the pharmacy, like I went to Rite Aid or uh, I went to a pharmacy, whatever. 
the same pharmacy, this is a pharmacy that's supposed to be about health and helping people, yet you're selling high fructose corn syrup drinks. You're selling bleached cookies, bleached flour. You're selling what's unhealthy, and then they got some healthy stuff. So a pharmacy basically is a place where you get healthy and unhealthy at the same time, as in they sell what can kill you and, and help you stay healthy. They, they give you both options. Now, let's get to you know the fashion industry aspect. And and Lizzo, you know, you, you see uh, Lizzo, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to start calling them different now. I'm going to call them, uh, you know, beautifully built buffaloes. You know what I mean? Or beautifully, beautiful, no, no, as I call them, build a bear. Build a bear bitches. That's what we call them. Build a bear bitches. You know, they, they're round, you know, built, built, built like they, they were born to eat. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, your Lizzo's, what it does now, this is where the feminism aspect plays a role into it. And, and, and like I told you on my other videos with uh, Feminism is the Future and um, the Price of Feminism series, which I'm going to continue soon. But um, what this does is that it, the whole goal of the body positivity movement from a feminist aspect is to even the playing field and give multiple options to women of all shapes. You see, and by the end of this video, I'm going to drop drop a quote. I'm going to drop a, it's not a quote. Yeah, yeah, it is a quote. I'm going to drop a quote that you could use for the rest of your life. But let's get to it. So your Lizzo's and all of them, it benefits women because, you know, to me, I don't, I'm not, I'm not one of these guys in the manosphere that's complaining. Well, you know, um, you know, how come it's, how come they represent fat women, but they don't represent fat men? They don't look at us in a good way. What man wants to be looked at in a good way because they're fat and unhealthy? You know what I'm saying? That, that one's just complaining. Who cares if, in actuality, that's a benefit for us. When we go to the supermarkets, I mean, when we go to the fashion locations, they only show us looking healthy, you know, looking strong and all that. You know what I mean? That's a positive. It's not a negative. Now, let's get back to it. Now, the whole goal of the body positivity aspect from a feminist perspective is that it basically is trying to even the odds because at, at the end of the day, feminism is all about leading men to give women, you know, you know, superiority. So it's it's all about all this promotion of body positivity is to basically say, hey, guy, it don't matter if she's fat. It don't matter if she's thin. It don't matter. Because you should love her the way she is, a.k.a. you should accept a woman into your life and accept her authority no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, she has a vag. You know what I'm saying? So that's all that matters. You know, you as a man, you should be healthy and strong and all that. Your resources, all that, be, all that other stuff. But we... As women should be accepted no matter what our weight is. You know, it, it's to actually, like, think about it. In the 90s and, you know, early 2000s, it was firmly established, you know. You know what I'm saying? She's hot, the others are not. You know, fat chick knows what she gonna get. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, and uh, uh, hot chicks, you know, know what she gonna get. But they wanted to even out the odds and... And, you know, feminism is all about giving women more authority and more power. So why wouldn't you want every woman to be to have access to this authority over men and, you know, potentially take him to the cleaners? You know what I'm saying? Get him to go to prison to increase the prison economy. Because like I keep saying with you guys that feminism is all about you got to follow the money. It's, it's prison economics. You get a man on child support, you know, you could lock him up. You get him on, you know, alimony, you could lock him up. You know what I'm saying? It's all about leading to the prison, you know? So 
it promotes the whole body positivity movement. It promotes that on a feminist aspect that all women are good. It don't matter her shape. It don't matter if she she struggles breathing, just trying to look up. You know what I'm saying? Trying to lift all triple of her cheeseburger chins to look up and she's struggling to breathe. She's better than you because she has a badge. Accept it. You know what I'm saying? So it's about even in the playing field in the mainstream that a man, it don't matter what a woman comes to a man. It don't matter if she has... You know, she's obese. She has 50 kids. They even had one where they're promoting a chick with a STDs. It don't matter. She's a woman. She's better than you anyway. So you're lucky to have a woman in your life. Now, the other aspect that this body positivity thing does is that it also promotes it also promotes an option for women to not have shame. You see, it, it also promotes that, let's say a woman was, you know, she's in great shape and so on. It opens the option that when she starts eating too much, when she gets obese and overweight, start being built like a, you know, buffalo built, start being, you know, uh, build a bear built, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hippo built. You know what I mean? When she starts being like that, she won't have any shame. She will actually have acceptance and support awaiting her. You know what I mean? Because here's the thing about shame, and, and this is how you know it's corrupt and, uh, you know, destruction. Shame is actually good. When someone tries to shame you, it shows they actually care. Let's say you're out of, you know, your, your boy is getting out of shape and you're like, yo, man, you got to improve yourself, dude. You, you're getting out of shape. I don't want you. To, I'm worried about your health. You're shaming that person because you care. So they want to remove the option of shaming. So you display that you don't care. They want you to accept anything thrown at you. And uh, in, in actuality, it's removing, making you know, it's taking away empathy, you know what I mean? But another thing from men in actuality, this is actually in the long term helping men because it's basically saying, you know, back in the day where you saw a fat chick, you'd be, you got to get in shape, you got to take care of yourself. This whole body positivity thing basically says, yo, leave her alone. She should be happy the way she is. So you could just go focus on the next chick, you know what I'm saying? You focus on the next chick. And uh, you don't have time. You, you know, the whole body positivity thing actually gives men more time. You know what I'm saying? Because you see a big chick, yo, she's happy the way she is. Let me not waste my time with that. Let me get this other chick. Oh, my my chick, she's gaining weight now. Well, I can't shame her or nothing. So let me just leave her and she'll be happy. Body positivity. Because if you're a guy and she's a girl, she's gaining weight. Just leave her alone. Body positivity. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? It basically gives you more time in your life because you don't have to spend time worrying or offering any advice for any chick that gained any weight. You know, if she gaining weight, you just look at her. Like, yeah. You smile. You don't, you know, you don't smile. You just keep it moving. You don't waste your time. The body positivity also is helping men spend less time with chicks that are overweight. You know what I mean? That, that's a bonus with it. But um, now, here, here's the thing, and this is the quote. This quote, you could write it. You could take it with you. It took me a while to figure out this quote. Now, they always ask men, you know, how come you don't like a chick that's overweight? Now don't don't answer with uh don't answer with um yo man you know I don't like them that big don't don't answer with none of that that's old that's outdated you just say I don't like you know you know what I mean fat as fashion isn't you know isn't my uh thing I just don't like uh you know what I mean I don't like what you're wearing what you're wearing is your weight I don't like what you're wearing weight all that weight you're wearing, I'm not attracted to that. Simple as that. All that weight you're wearing, I'm not attracted to it. Because the old body positivity thing, man, 
it's basically saying, you know, it's encouraging women to A, be unhealthy and that, and, and, and listen to what it's saying. It's basically saying you're your best when you're overweight, unhealthy, and getting closer to death. That's what it's saying. But another thing is it's telling women with a whole body positivity movement, it's telling women the best thing you're wearing and will ever wear is weight. So put on more weight. The more weight you put on, the better, you know, the better you're, you know, you're wearing it, the better you're wearing it. So if you weighed, you know, if you're five foot five and you weigh 170, you know what I mean? You, you look good now, but put on more weight. Body positivity, you know, is triggering in the, the head of women that the best thing they will ever wear is their weight. So why not wear more weight? I mean, it's like jewelry. If you have one piece of jewelry, won't you look better with more jewelry? And and that's basically what they're implying with weight. They're implying that your weight is a fashion tool. You know what I'm saying? Fashion accessory. That's that's what they've done with body positivity. That your weight is a fashion accessory. You know what I'm saying? That's what they're basically saying. Your weight is a fashion accessory. That's what that's what they're saying to these women. So of course they go of and also you know it takes it it basically encourages them to do whatever they want without um you know any responsibility for their well-being. You know they they don't have to blame themselves. They could just say, "Well, society said I'm okay. This is body positivity. The more weight I wear, the better I look." You know what I'm saying? So, for you as a man, when they ask you, yo, why don't you like these bigger chicks and all that? You just say, well, I don't like women that wear a lot of weight. I don't like women wearing a lot of weight. That's, I'm not into that fashion. I'm not into women that wear a lot of weight. You don't notice what I said. I didn't mention fat. I didn't mention nothing. I just said women... I don't like women that wear a lot of weight. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? And and another thing, like I said, body positivity, it's really a great scam at the at the you know price of a woman's health. It's a great scam for the fashion industry to make more money. Now they don't have to worry about not selling out on their clothes. Because they're encouraging all women of all shapes and sizes to go to that store and spend money. You know what I mean? That That's what the whole body positivity thing is. You know, so, you know, like I said, man, and it's trained women to, this is what I am. I, I was born this way. I'm, I'm big boned. Even though your bones do not grow with your weight. You know, that, uh, that that saying is just stupid. I'm big boned. But, uh, you know, like I said, man, you know, body positivity in all honesty, it's freeing you as a man. You're not responsible for shaming any woman. You're not responsible for giving her any sense of awareness. That's how she is. She should just be happy wearing more weight. So, you know, I mean, this takes time. This gives you more time to spend on the women that aren't wearing more weight, the ones you're more attractive to. And then once that chick you're with starts wearing more weight, you could just leave her because she's it's body positivity. She's, she's in a positive state and gaining all that weight. You know what I mean? The old body positivity thing, it's a, you know, it, it's a, you know, it's, it's basically the triangle alignment. Now the fashion industry Plus the fast food industry or food industry in general, plus the pharmacies. You know what I'm saying? Notice how it sounds. It sounds like a triple F. So food industry, fashion industry, pharmacy. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, pharmacy spelled with a PH. So it sounds like an F, but let's just say it's the, you know what I mean? F, it's FFP. FFP is fashion industry, food industry, and pharmaceutical industry. So guys, I'm going to tell you this, man. The thing about the whole 
you know, a body positivity movement, it is not a negative. It's a positive. In, in the end, it actually encourages more men to, you know, spend more time getting in shape, getting healthy. You know, let her do what she wants. She wants to gain. She wants to go from the size of a, 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 a size of a, a, a greyhound to the size of of a water buffalo, you know what I mean? You let her do that. It's a positive thing. It's body positivity. It's not a negative thing. So let her be positive and wear more weight. It's not your problem. You know what I mean? So, well, this has been Hold the Truth Hostage. And remember, please support on Kickstarter Semptagen. I really need your support on this. You know, we men, this will actually help a lot of younger men to see the word simp and the red pill more in a fictional lens. So please go support that comic book, Simptagion. All right. They said the truth won't survive beside the lies that maintain the decaying faces of...